This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to give you a tour of the fantastic 2020 Tiffin Van Lee Velano 3070 GB. Here's the specs. You can pause this video. Of course you can pause this video at any time that you want to check out the various details like the fresh water capacity of 70 gallons, the gray of 90, and the black of 45. I shot this in 4K for your visual pleasure. Here's the layout. Of course, they have the gigantic uh, living space in the back and of course the bedroom is between there and the uh, large restroom. Here I am uh, checking out the unit. Uh, it was a nice sunny day in Texas. It's 101 degrees in late September. Only in Texas. Here's the Rotoflex pin box. Up front you've got various connections and uh, the battery box and some storage. Of course this is a great location to put some uh, extra batteries. Of course if you're into solar you want to put a bunch of solar on the roof here's a great space for your uh, batteries and also for your generator. There's the auto level system. Of course all Tiffin products have a fantastic paint job beautiful paint job on this unit. It has four slides. Here's the main storage in the front and it's good size. I'm pretty sure you can fill it with some odds and ends. It has slam matches of course. All aluminum construction, the shell. I was visiting the fine folks at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people in the world. This is one of the control units and they have them throughout the unit. That's a whole mess up there. I don't know what's going on up there. The only thing I didn't like is that the slam latches sort of overlapped and they sort of the magnetic latches, didn't you? Yeah, see, like they have to move one to get one, another one, so it's a little bit crazy. There's the propane tanks, and they're both 30 pounders, so you got one on each side. Very nice. And of course, you can see the power, uh, you know, leveling jacks right there. Here's the main utility area where you can control uh, you know, your water, your dumps, uh, you can do tank fill, etc. Your satellite, your TV, your antenna. There's your whole water filtration system. And of course, your tank flushes. It's well organized. And well There's the heater and the dump. One side has the uh, Schwintech mechanisms. Let me show you a tight shot there uh, for the slide out, and the other side has a more uh, you know, rugged uh, design because it has heavier stuff in there. You don't want Schwintech uh, mechanisms for something that's heavy. There's a rack and pinion system. Down there is the 50 amp cord, and it was uh, stretched to its maximum <laughs> length. Yes, I decided to go on the roof. It was a hot day. It was 101 degrees again, late September 2019. And I, yeah, I sort of look like Santa Claus there, don't I? This unit has three AC units, and it definitely needs three AC units. It's a good size uh, fifth wheel. What? No ladder? <laughs> this definitely needs a ladder. Most of the other uh, Velanos had ladders. I guess it's a, an option. Something you can talk to your uh, 
dealership about or the folks at uh, Explore USA RV Super Center. Of course, they use the jealousy, you know, frameless windows on most window, you know, most areas except on the slide outs on the sides. Beautiful windows. And of course, they have beautiful rims and on Westlake tires. Westlakes are some of the better Chinese tires. This is a solid step by Lippert. It isn't the Moride uh, step above, so you have options. They're both nice. And this comes with a three year limited warranty. I don't like this handle, it looks pretty uh, rough. But it looks like a definite afterthought. It's not upscale at all, it's sort of, uh, you know, just like it was thrown on there. But that's my opinion. What's your opinion? This is where you can connect the uh, alternating current, the 110, 120, whatever you want to call it. I get confused. There's the pure sine wave inverter, the, sh the battery shut off, etc., etc. All kinds of good stuff. And that's your vacuum cleaner and of course some AC receptacles and antenna receptacles in case you want to connect a exterior television. Why not? You know, and there's a slam latch right there. It had a little magnet on there, but it, had not, that, it didn't reach that magnet <laughs> holder right there, which I found very interesting. Okay, there's another propane tank. They have two propane tanks, as I indicated earlier. Slam latch. Very nice. And here's a side view of the uh, Tiffin Vanley Velano 370 GB fifth wheel. We're now inside and I'm uh, looking down from the stairs towards the living area. They have different uh, interior colors, darker. I like the darker one. This is the lighter version. It doesn't look as nice, I think, as a darker version. But again, what is that? That's my opinion. Your opinion is number one. My opinion is just number two. Those chairs were comfy, and I had to test them out. The old dude, the old uh, dude had to check them out. Here I am, uh, sitting on it, plop, and I really liked them. I wish I had a couple of these in my house. Um, you know, not exactly the style, but I would like to have some. And of course, it's all, you know, motorized. You can take a little nap, uh, you can relax, read a book. Do, for, for my wife, she would do some knitting there. She would love it, she would absolutely love it. And uh, the issue for both of us would be make sure to wake up, not to fall asleep in these chairs. Uh, that would be uh, that would be sad. And of course, all the windows have roller blinds. Uh, they have the you know the ones that block out the sun and the ones that just uh, give you a little bit of protection. So you have two options, which is very nice. Here's a tight shot of the window valances. Uh, Milano does an excellent job with woodwork. I am really impressed by the quality and craftsmanship of Volano. On the side of that sofa right there in the back, you have connections for USB, alternating current, etc. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and ring the bell. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Again, you have the receptacles on both sides. And those chairs are super cut. There's a 40 inch uh, fireplace slash uh, heater. It's a nice little uh, radiant heater on those chilly mornings. Mm -hmm. It'll warm up the room, I'm pretty sure, a little bit. Up there is the audio system. Uh, that's the uh, typical Furion system, which I like. I'll open that up for you. Again, beautiful cabinets with uh, windows in this part. Other parts are just solid wood. Again, this is solid wood. <laughs> Absolutely 100% solid wood. This ain't no uh, sticker wrap here. This is the real stuff. And there's a sound bar and the big, big TV. Very nice. Get some storage down there. And of course, the fireplace that operates off of alternating current. You have to be plugged in to use that or have a significant 
generator. Let me open this up. Again, plywood box, uh, you know, solid plywood box there, with solid wood door fronts, nice metal handles, uh, all metal roller glide. No dovetail joinery, just uh, your typical, you know, they use the pin nails. Now we're going to go into the galley kitchen area, and there's that little center island. Solid surface countertops, accent lighting, a two bowl stainless steel sink. Nice little uh, faucet there. Plenty of storage on the island and around the galley kitchen area. There's a Furion stove and stove top. Again, plenty of storage. Some receptacles. Plenty of receptacles, actually. <laughs> a few receptacles. You get a stack of four drawers there, one below the uh, oven. Let me open that up for you. Again, this fifth wheel should last a lifetime. Here's the other angle for the uh, Furian uh, stove top, three burner stove top. And up to the left there, has some AC receptacles, and there's an interesting backsplash, very different uh, sort of backsplash. We open up the oven. It's not a gigantic oven, but it's a good size oven. It's one of the better Furion ovens and stovetops. As you very well know, they make different levels of Furion products. And there's a control unit where you can control the lighting for the counter, the galley, turn on the vents, etc. And again, that uh, backsplash is rather unusual. I think it would collect more dirt than it actually... I, I would like something simple and flat that I can clean. Nothing that has a lot of crevices in areas where dirt and, you know, stuff that splatters about would collect. I don't like that. Again, whose opinion is that? That's my opinion. Your opinion is more important than mine in regards to this because you're the one that's going to buy this, huh? Here's a French door, as they say, a refrigerator, two doors. Plenty of storage in this unit. Again, you can go back to the description and layout uh, that I, at the start of this video to check out the uh, various uh, dimensions and capacities of things. Or you can call your local Van Lee Villano dealership and ask them, what's up with this refrigerator here? What are the capacities? Everything worked perfectly. No, no problems. Plenty of storage for your uh, ice cream, your vegetables, your meats, if you're into meats. I'm into meats. My wife is a vegetarian, but I do eat less meat lately because uh, that's what she makes. She makes salads and stuff like that. And I eat that and then I throw a little chunk of flesh on the side. There's some storage right there. Good size storage. You can put something up there, can't you? So what do you think of this light cabinetry? Do you like it or would you prefer the darker cabinetry? It's up to you. My wife would put some wine in there. She's the wine drinker in the family. It's a nice little station to uh, wine cool. I'm more of a diet Pepsi and diet Coke drinker myself. Yeah, I like to open quite a few drawers just to make sure there's a certain consistency and style and quality because you, know, you never know something might be amiss. Solid surface countertops, definitely very nice. I love these uh, uh, these countertops. I like this backsplash better than the other one in the uh, you know behind the uh, stove top. This one's much nicer. More storage up here. This is tall storage. Wow. <laughs> Need a ladder to access this storage.
Yes, I visit quite often the folks at uh, Explore You'll See RV Super Center. They are the nicest people. They always do generous and I always ask them, ask the manager, can I go check out one of your RVs and shoot a video for my modest little YouTube channel? He says, hey, go for it, Garza. Have some fun. Here's a shot of the ceiling with the, you know, the vents, you know, the dual track vents, and of course the lights. And the, one of the AC units is right above there. Beautifully done, and there's a fan. Keeping you nice and cool and moving the air. Here's a view from the other side, looking towards the bedroom and the uh, restroom area, through the galley and the living area. We're uh, making the slow march to the uh, bedroom. Storage right there, quite a few you know some drawers right there, and there's the bed. A nice size bed, good size, uh, good size bed, and a uh, beautiful window valance. That's one thing again. When uh, Tiffin Van Lee Villano does is not only woodwork but also uh, window treatments. There's some USB plugs right there, receptacles, and some on the other side. Of course, the AC receptacles right there. And there's another control unit for the lights, slides, etc. This is not their biggest unit. I've been in some of their biggest units, bigger units like the Beacons and stuff like that. And they have some bigger Villanos. Uh, this is sort of one of their uh, medium sized units. If you want something super big, they have it. <laughs> it in this line and of course uh, you can go to your local dealership and ask them do you have something a little bit bigger and they'll say yeah let me show it to you again these are the vents i mean not the vents these are the um, roller blinds they're appreciated especially the two you know one that sort of blocks out a little bit of light and one that just absolutely blocks out the light and that's a little tv this unit has two televisions and one two three four five six cabinets right there and of course uh, AC receptacles on both sides look at that very nice you will need your binoculars to uh, watch this TV from your bed it's a good size again I open the uh, drawers they're not soft clothes but you know can't have everything huh? Some more drawers over here, plenty of storage in the uh, restroom. You have, you know, dual bowls and dual mirrors. You know, undermount porcelain bowls, just like at home, you know, receptacles. You want it to fight over those receptacles, you have four of them. <laughs> Beautiful faucets and uh, rings for your towels. They have a little high quality, high volume, moves a lot of air van, uh, fan right there. Towel rack. And down there's your electric powered uh, toilet. Hmm, fancy. Fancier than one I got at home, for sure. <laughs> and that's a good size shower. Even for your big boys and big girls out there, that's a good size shower. And very good quality uh, you know, hardware. Nice shiny chrome metal. Receptacle right there. I guess what? You, why would you need a receptacle there while you're on the toilet? Maybe some people out there need that. Control the lights over here too. And this is a nice little closet storage area you can put your towels doesn't have any area there for you know make it in a closet but I guess it's just storage for towels and stuff like that. linens all your uh, manly and womanly uh, supplies maybe that's the closet let's go check it out There's some storage, more storage, 
More storage. No, that's not a closet. That's more storage. Hmm. I guess the closet's to the right. Yeah, and there's some alternating current right there for your electronic pleasures. Close that. There's the closet. <laughs> the closet. And that's a good sized closet. Some of the more exclusive units out there, uh, this is affordable in comparison to some of the more exclusive units, have, uh, what do you call it, cedar lined closets. You can always add cedar to this if you want to keep the moths away, not that they care anymore. They're probably more resilient to cedar than they used to be. Storage for your shoes, etc., etc. Let me lock this up, because we don't want no people in my closet. Stay out of my closet. So we're headed outside. So what do you think of this Van Lee Delano 370GB? I like it. I would. I saw some of the other uh, tones for the, uh, you know, the chairs, and the, uh, and the woodwork, and I liked them better than this one. I didn't like the light woods with the uh, dark, you know, chairs. I didn't like that at all. But that's my opinion. Of it. So I saw this unit at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people in the world. So check out your local dealership if you have any questions, because uh, this was just a basic walkthrough. I didn't give you all the stuff. And of course, you can always go to the start of the video and see, you know, the description, etc. So this has been a 2020 Tiffin Van Lee Villano 370GB. I do RV reviews and tours once in a while. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And go to my website if you have a little bit of time, jmmgarza.com. From Fort Worth, Texas, gracias, adios, bye-bye.